Hello, welcome to Quest for Thunder. I'm Mark. My wife Jean and I are refitting our 1983 Pearson 422 and we're glad you've joined us. If this is your first time visiting Quest for Thunder, please consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell so that you'll receive a notification when we upload new content. Uh, so again, we're glad you're here. Welcome to Quest for Thunder and enjoy the video. Thank you. Hey, good afternoon, Quest for Thunder. We continue to work in the main salon. Uh, we've moved uh, through the salon um, area uh, where the settees are, um, around the nav station, around in the galley. And now we've moved into this passageway here that leads into the um, aft cabin of the owner's cabin. And uh, what we have is we have a, a cabinet here that uh, <clears throat> houses our, our generator. Um, a 4.5 uh, kilowatt um, Westerbeek uh, generator here, um, and this cabinet is in uh, pretty pretty poor condition, as is the bulkheads around it. So what we're doing is we're just sanding them down um, in an effort to prepare them for paint. We're going to paint uh, this whole area uh, white, um, and uh, instead of uh, instead of trying to return it to varnish. So anyway, that's what we're up to today. So that's what we're doing. So here's the cabinet that we're working on right now. As you can see in the back of the nav station here. And in this cabinet, we have our one of our AC ha uh, air handlers. And then of course, some storage over there. But you can see that this, this cabinetry is not in real good shape. And so what we're doing is we're painting, I remember um, sanding it down, preparing it for paint. There's the... Uh, that's the generator in there. The uh, fate of this generator is still yet to be determined. This hose is just from my uh, sander. The fate of this generator is yet to be determined. I don't know if we're going to keep this thing or what we're going to do. Uh, it's a lot of generator, 4.5 kilowatts kW. So it's pretty, I mean, you can pretty much run the air conditioner while you're at sea with this thing. But uh, yeah, so you can see we've got some damage over there in the corner. You can see where the veneer is peeled off, sanding that down. We're going to have to fair that and then sand that bulkhead right there. And then over here, same thing. It's just white over here. So we're just going to clean this, clean this section up. And uh, of course, it'll be white as it is. But uh, that's what we're up to. So I'm going to get back to business, get, get back to work here. And now the cabinet doors and everything are going to go back on, similar to what we've done here with the uh, drawers on this on this part of the galley. There's a vent that goes there, and then some doors down there, over there too, underneath this stove. And uh, Gene is right now. Gene is up here working on on cleaning up the doors. She's working on the hinges right now. Sliding the hinges. Yeah, cleaning up the hinges to make them look better. Because whenever they just apply a new fresh coat of varnish or polyurethane or whatever in the past, they just brush right over the hinges and, and they're starting to peel and they don't look very good. So she's taking that off. Um, and then if the door is in particularly bad shape or whatever, then we'll probably just sand, light sand it, put some fresh varnish on it. Um, but if it's not, if it's in fairly good condition, Jane's just going to clean them up and we're just going to go with them as they are. So that's going to be her determination. She's going to determine which ones we work on, which ones we don't. But you know what? I mean, they look okay. It's not bad. It's not perfect. But it is an old boat. Right, Jean? Yes. Yeah, and we do good. have more things it's that are pressing. Yeah. Yeah. But what you're doing, the sanding looks great. Yeah. And the painting job. Well, we want There's to make a big it, difference. We definitely want to make it livable. Yeah. And so the vast majority of what we're doing is to just make it livable for us. Okay, back to work. See you later, Jane. Bye, hon. It's a great day to take it out today. Yeah, I know it would be, wouldn't yeah. it, if we didn't have a leaking stuffing box? It's a boat. Always something. Yeah.
just wanted to bring you up to speed as to where we were. Uh, I didn't uh, do much filming because painting is pretty much boring and painting is painting and you see plenty of painting and I didn't think anybody would really be too, uh, too impressed with painting. <laughs> so I, I didn't film the painting, but I will show you the, the uh, in progress. We're not finished yet. We're, uh, we're uh, in progress. Um, this area over here by where my generator is and these cabinets on the, uh, on the uh, port side of the boat. Um, I've got, I think, three, quote, three coats of uh, primer on them, and um, I've put the first coat of, of, um, of paint on there, and we're using an um, indoor-outdoor uh, oil-based acrylic, nice and hard, so when it dries, it'll be nice, it's a semi-gloss, nice and hard, when it dries, it'll be easy to clean. Um, I have uh, a uh, kind of a flat uh, white on the bulkheads that I'm going to be changing over to this uh, acrylic because I notice when we get smudges or whatever on the bulkheads around the port lights, it's very difficult to clean it. And I just think that the uh, that the uh, uh, the oil looks better and it just holds up better. I think because it's uh, once it's uh, fully cured, it's, it's much, much harder. So, uh, that's what we're up to. Let me show you. So what you're looking at here is the galley. And as you can see, um, I've got the drawers back in. Um, that section there in the middle is where a vent goes. And of course, then the cabinet drawers go down there. And then there's a little cabinet drawer that goes down here underneath the, uh, underneath the stove. And then this is the refrigerator. Yeah, this outside. I'm sorry. This piece here, this seat, the seat for my nav station. And so there's the refrigerator in front of it. And uh, so once um, once we're done with this painting, uh, one of the next things we're going to do is remove this stove. We're going to take it out and replace it with a uh, brand new um, brand new stove. Um, so yeah, it's uh, you know it's I, I I don't know if it still works. But it's pretty nasty, and it's it's been in here forever, and so I just I yeah I think it'll just be better to get rid of it. And then our sink also, you can see it's uh, pretty deep. It's hard to find deep sinks like this. Um, so, but you can see it's rusted and it's old. I think it's probably original to the boat. So we'll be pulling that out too. Um, and then these countertops. What we do with these countertops is they're a they're a Formica type material. But what we do with them is we just sand them uh, to rough them up. Up here on top of the refrigerator too, we'll do the same thing. Uh, we just rough them up with some sandpaper, and then we paint. Then we uh, prime them and we paint them, and they they come out looking pretty nice. I'll show you how that looks in a minute. This is the inside of the refrigerator. It's all clean. You see, it's a very deep fridge. Um, that's a little freezer compartment, and so this has all been cleaned up. There's a couple of places where they looked like they had some something mounted in here, maybe a shelf or a basket. I need to fill those holes, uh, but uh, the fridge is in pretty good shape. The compressor lives underneath the sink here. Um, that's the battery, starter battery, and right next to it is the, is the refrigerator compressor. And it works, it works really well, actually. So swinging around here, this is the uh, companionway, and then right behind the companionway, those slats um, give me access to systems um, back there, such as the water heater, uh, water filter, and the front end of the uh, engine. And then underneath this step right here is the battery compartment. This piece of wood actually pulls, once the ladder is off, this piece pulls completely straight out and reveals the battery box, which is underneath. And uh, that's going to be one of the next projects, too, is the battery box. I'm going to battery box the batteries. Uh, they're very old, and uh, while, you know, they do provide some some functionality they're not uh, they're, they're not in good shape so we're going to replace those so over here this is where we're working currently uh, this is the nav station and uh, you remember that project where we built that little compartment there um, this is the nav station the seat sits on top of that that's the um, that is the uh, big huge super duper uh, bilge pump in case we have an emergency right there manual bilge pump uh, but anyway, I've gotten a coat of uh, one coat of uh, paint on here, and you can see there's where the drawers go. That's the generator in there, the generator compartment, 
uh, right in there. And then um, above it are our cabinets. Uh, this is an AC unit right here. This is one of the air handlers. Uh, there are two air handlers um, in in the main salon, this one. And then there's one over there. Um, you can't, well, I'll walk over there. It's behind a, it's, it's behind that vent right there is an air handler. That's an old air handler um, and it'll be, uh, it still works, but it'll be replaced before too long uh, with this with this type over here, which is a ducted type. And then we'll run a duct like we did um, here. Um, it's These are more efficient. Um, the one over there basically just blows into a plenum and it just flows out of the of the plenum into the into the room, which is not as effective or as efficient. Um, anyway, so you can see the top of this cabinet. This, this, this top has been painted. It's got one coat of paint. It looked just like these over here by the sink and everything. That's what it looked like. And now it's been, it's been sanded, primed three, four coats of primer. And this is the first coat of probably three or four coats of paint that it will get. Um, the sides will only get one more coat uh, of paint providing, provided how they look. Uh, but I think one coat is probably going to be sufficient. One more coat will be sufficient for them. Uh, but anyway, right here where the generator is, there are two doors that, that cover that space. And those doors are actually propped up over there, along with the uh, doors to the cabinets uh, by the galley and the drawers for over here. So that's the story there. And then once we're done on this side and everything's dry over here, then we'll move over here to this side over here. And that's the distribution panel. That's not, nothing's happening there. It's just going to get cleaned up a bit. But these white panels below, uh, below this shelf here, these white panels that are down here below, the white panel that's up here that runs over to the door going into the aft cabin, those panels are going to get sanded down. Uh, well, they're going to get roughed up, and then they're going to get uh, uh, three or four coats of uh, primer, and then they'll get a paint like this. Won't need to put as many coats of paint on these sides as we did here because we won't be setting anything down on them but uh, that's that's the way that's going to go and th these are the bulkheads i was talking about you can see you see some smudges here they're really difficult to clean off because this is a very flat surface um, we went with flat paint because this is not because we took wood off of here this was raw fiberglass and we fared all this out but we weren't really all that worried about fairing it perfectly making it perfectly smooth so it's got some you can feel you know you can feel the the bumps in there um and we went with a flat because we didn't want to accentuate that in the appearance of it but um i find that it's more difficult to take care of it so what we're going to do is we're going to paint it and i've started to put a coat back here of uh, oil on this and i can tell you it already looks a lot better you probably can't see it in the camera but it's 100 percent improved so that's what we're that's what we're doing right now and um we're making some pretty good progress um our new sale for our head sale that has been shipped i got a notification yesterday that it's been shipped so we should have that pretty soon and we'll get that um, get that installed and then um, when the weather gets a little bit better I'm gonna head out go do some sailing because all of this stuff that we're doing right now we can do while we're sailing all right so thanks for uh, tuning in I appreciate it I'm glad you stopped by I hope that you will come back and uh, and if you haven't subscribed already we appreciate uh, if you would subscribe get the bell for notifications so that when we post new content you get a notification and uh, from the crew of Thunder, fair winds and following seas. Bye.